So uh, anything I need to know about the game before I jump in? So yeah, what we try to do is uh, we want to create a game where you mix platform adventure with uh, pinball mechanics in a sort of open world or Metroidvania style world. So this is the, the result of those experiments. <laughs> you play as Yoku, uh, who is a dung beetle, and he arrives at this tropical island to resume duties as, uh, or assume duties as the, the mailman, because the other one kind of quit, the old man. Uh, and he arrives and he uh, figures out that something's not quite right with the island and sort of have to dig deep into this mystery. So here's going to be that intro where you sort of sail towards the island and uh, uh, there's a big wave that picks you up, there's an earthquake, there's a big wave that picks you up and you wash the shore. That, that, that animation is yet to materialize. So you can it. just skip away. The island is looking cool. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Oh, Alright, so you move left to right with the stick. And here you get your first uh, island inhabitants. So you get your first quest here to reach your new workplace. So the art is all hand-painted, it's like one big canvas, it's all stitched together. So the whole thing is seamless, you don't see any levels or anything like that. It's all made to look like one big world. It's more... Alright, thanks. What's going on down there right, too? So here yeah. you have your, like, the core input mechanics. Um, on your triggers, you can control these uh, flippers that are part of the environment. There you go. And there's really no risk in jumping down holes or anything because you, you don't die or lose lives or anything like that. So it's, it's uh, friendly to experimentation. And you can lose a little bit of fruit because you collect fruit. So that's sort of the harshest punishment uh, that we have. So do you, do you never run out of uh, pinballs? No. Wow, no, you never run out cool. of pinballs. Very interesting, I we like had, that. We had uh, thoughts about sort of making it a little bit harsher when we developed the game, but all of that stuff distracted from the adventure of it, so we scaled back really far on it. So that, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a bit more of a smooth ride, but it, it's got a lot of skill elements to it that you'll, probably, uh, you'll find out here. But. Nice, I love it. And so it sort of merges into a more of a traditional pinball area here, but it sort of goes in and out from that. And you can always sort of take control with, sort of walking with the stick if you like, if you're on, on the ground, and take control of the ball again. I like that the ball highlights the flipper. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Woo. Feels great. Cool. I see. So, yeah, so anytime you run out of inertia, you can just start pushing and pulling. So, there's a sleeping islander, but you don't have the tools just yet to wake him up. Oh, and the telescope. This is what I was curious what this is. Okay. It just shows you the local area. I can get a, sort of an overview of uh, where you've been and where you're going. So I imagine there will be areas here that will be in bigger maps that will be locked out that you'll have to revisit, or yeah. no? Yeah, exactly. So we have some abilities that will enable you to reach new areas that you will unlock as you go. Um, so there's definitely that. And you might need to want to go back to areas that you visited because you can see like there's going to be secrets that you couldn't get before and now you have a new tool. So the main reward here is fruit. If you go right, you, you come across the, the fruit altar, and this is where you can stick all your fruit. Oh, so... So it fills up. I might as well? Yeah. Um, and as it gets filled up, uh, it grows and starts coming out of the ground, and some good things will start to happen. Okay. But you need a little bit more fruit. It's going over here. Yeah. And that weird thing floating in the air up there is part of the... Uh, the cannon system that is spread out across the island is going to be like cannons that sit uh, even intervals and that's part of like a quick travel system that you unlock later on when the, the mission starts to get like uh, you need to backtrack a little bit and you need to traverse quickly is that, flower a checkpoint? What is that, flower? that is a checkpoint yeah that's right so if you move to your right now you have uh, the mushroom cove a little bit further to the right
So there's the mushroom, so now you're uh, all set to go feed the eel. This is a shortcut down to the eel. Pay me a visit. Oh, right. What's in here? Oh so my play, god, a map! Quickly. This will be very familiar. Uh, so you can check so out the map. Customize all your, all your inmates before you go into the prison. Yeah. Randomize so you have well. your requests up in the left corner, the sort of the active ones, and then you have markers on the map. So if you press X, you zoom out. Oh, uh, and you see the whole, this is basically the whole game, more or less. Uh, we're going to have four environments. You have the forest environment, and then beneath the whole island is going to be a cave. And then on top we have the snow environment and then there's the sort of a yellowstone hot spring type environment as well. So we have four different ones. To travel between those, is it a seamless uh, with the pinball or do you get launched into the different regions or? It is seamless and it, you just you walk from one place to the other and there are like no seams or no loading or anything like that. It's just one, one big My dream come true. So here you have more of a so exploration exploratory platforming adventure thing going on. It's, uh, so we try to mix the, the tempo of the gameplay. So it's not always about the twitchy gameplay, but you know. Yeah. Uh, here we go. The part of this, the storyline of the game is that uh, on the center of the island there's this big, huge island god that's been poisoned. And, it's, and all the islanders love their god, but it's it, turning out that it's, it's a bit of a pain now that it's causing all these earthquakes. So your, one of your first tasks is going to be to assemble the island elders so that they can figure out what's wrong and you know, put a stop to the, to the craziness. And that sort of unfolds into a, a murder mystery oh, as wow. we go. So now this is the same as that earlier pile, it just adds to it. If you progress on one of these, it's, it goes for all of them. They're scattered across the island. There's where maybe the silliest upgrade that you ha we have so far. Press the A button. Okay. There we go. Okay. It makes a, a funny noise. <laughs> but you can wake up sleeping islanders with it and you can reveal some secret areas as well. So you got a little bit of a quest there and some of them are going to be like straight in the main path like this one. But a lot of them are going to be off path as well. So we don't want to sort of stick all the content in the face of the player. You have to seek it out yourself. So we have a, some other objects that are not sort of obvious maybe, but um, you can uh, complete them and sort of create, yeah. It, for completionists, they're going to be interesting, I think. Wow, look at this. Oh man, that was sick. That was beautiful.